what's up, okay, what's up, YouTube? Joseph here, and this deck profile time, and I'm coming at you guys with a different variant type of deck. I have Cosmos here, and originally this was supposed to be the surprise deck. Um, long story short, I built the deck, and I was missing a good chunk of support, and my buyer, I mean my seller, did not. Um, respond to me trying to get them I've had numerous um, response I have numerous like messages sent but nothing came back I've had called friends and told friends I was looking for them but yeah that it, it all fell through so um, I'm just gonna have to look for a new buyer a new seller so I can buy the cards off of them um, or probably in um buy them online which is unfortunate but it might have to be like that so i'm going to give you guys this variation of cosmo i had another deck of cosmo that i'm going to build and then i have a video that's um going to be un um un, i want to put from private to public of the other cosmo deck. so i do apologize for the inconvenience and i'm just trying to work it all out so all right let's get into that profile and let's start with the monster lineup. So, as everybody knows, this is the Cosmos. Um, they're big monsters or machines. They have psychics. The psychics can switch themselves out from the machines. And when the machines die, they can banish themselves to either add psychic, add Cosmo cards to the hand, or just summon the Cosmo monsters to the field. So, we have Triple Farm Girl, Triple Wicked Witch, uh, let me get this one. okay. Double straw man, one um, good witch, triple forerunner, and triple slip rider. So that's pretty much my psych that's pretty much my cosmos. And then for my psychic variant, which looks somewhat familiar, we have the triple Esper Girl. We have triple serene witch. We have double silent psychic wizard. A psychic cleric, and to top it off, of course, one maxi. Uh, for those who don't know, like these handful of cards do pretty much Esper Girl when she says to summon from the banished area, she says to talk out of your deck to the banished face down, and then when she leaves the field, you can add that banished card to your hand. Um, in combination, she works well with Serene Psychic Witch. Who, if she's destroyed by battle, you can sit, you can banish one psychic monster with 15 or less defense. I mean, 2,000 or less defense uh, from your deck. Um, and then during your next during the next standby phase, you can start summoning that monster. So you, what you normally would do is you play the witch. You gotta get the Esper girl. You banish the Esper girl, and then when the Esper girl comes back, um, she'll put a card face down, and then when she leaves the field, you'll add that card to your hand. Um, High Psychic Cleric and Silent Psychic Wizard help as well to speed up the process. So say there's an Esper Girl in your graveyard, you can play the you can play the High Psychic the Silent Psychic Wizard. The wizard can banish the Esper Girl from the graveyard. When he leaves the field, you'll get the Esper Girl and she'll do the her effect. And then Cleric can discard one card from your hand. It says to banish a psychic monster. And when he leaves the field, he says to summon that psychic monster you banish with his effect to the field. So, um, it just, it's the, there's an old school deck that did this perfectly to where you had a whole ton of monsters on the field and your opponent could not, um, get through your board. So, that's all the monsters. And then the Maxi. The Maxi is just here to do with your opponent's stuff. So, next is on to the spells. And I have a relatively low count for spells, uh, this time around so uh of course for starters we have the infamous cosmo town which of course with the cosmo psychics works really well and i think with the esper psychic engine you can easily get a lot of those psychic monsters to your hand with ease we have two terraformings to search for cosmo town two sacred star secret swords of seven stars of course you banish the um 
Four runners draw two, and of course the Cosmo Town can recover them. One E Telly, which is stretched really well. <laughs> one Regeki and one Dark Hole. So that's the spell lineup. Then four traps. It's only like five traps in here. Um, two Call of Honey. One bottomless, one Shirin Chill, and one Solid Warning. So no need to fret about that. And then for the extra deck, which I had to mishmash, put together. Um, one Neuteria Beast, one Neuteria Barkeon, one Black Rose Dragon, one Crystal Wing Synchro Dragon, one Ancient Fairy Dragon, one Stardust Dragon, which are all the Synchros, one Castell, one Gaga Gaga Cowboy, one of his Dweller, one Grand Pulse, one Red Eyes Flare, and then, of course, to finish it off, one Heartland Draco, one 101, one 103, and one 106. So that is pretty much it for the stack profile. I know it's not the most sufficient Cosmo deck, but please be aware I will be trying to make that possible. And I do apologize for the inconvenience. Um, like, comment, subscribe, and until next time, you guys. I will have more videos up. So, till then, out.